If you're a woman watching this and you're hoping to meet a good guy to have a family with, don't be a garden tool and don't go tossing it about to every person who shows you some attention. That's simply the reality of the intimate market. You want to maintain your attractiveness, so make sure your notch isn't something that would raise the most eyebrows. A woman has a very low chance of developing a healthy monogamous bond with one man over the course of a lengthy period of time if she has a high notch count, a history of promiscuity in which she slept with many men, and she lost her virginity at an early age. Numerous studies have been done on this. If you compare two ladies, one who started at age 20 and has a notch count of 2 vis one who started at age 16 and has a notch count of 50, the former is by far the wiser option. There will be a lower chance of divorce for you. Your chances of developing a strong relationship with her will be greater. At this point, some claim that men and women are the same. Usually what happens is that people ask why males can be promiscuous without consequence, but women can't. Men and women are complementary to one another's lives, which is where the freak show begins. They are not the same. They are not alike. They are extremely unlike. Men have enormous amounts of testosterone after all. Estrogen is present in women in large amounts. Never underestimate a woman's ability to avoid taking responsibility for her actions. Strong, independent woman means doing things yourself even when you don't want to. Welcome to life without a man, where he be doing those difficult things with you or for you. It's time for strong, independent women to show their strength. Which gender works in the hard professions? Whom do you see as plumbers, welders, HVAC technicians, construction, sailors on ships, the male police officers in videos getting shot at the majority of the time, combat military, etc. You got these overpaid office women who can't even change a tire, much less the oil in their car. There will come a day when everything reverts back to basic survival. When the collapse comes, these little weak office women will have two choices, find a good man who will take care of them, or sell their services online. Being in a relationship today isn't really worth much anymore. Have kids one day just to get denied access. Get married one day just to lose all your hard-earned possessions. Have an argument they can claim assault and get you locked up with no evidence. If a woman wants help, she's going to have to ask for help, and I get to choose if I give it. And don't be that guy in the office who lifts boxes, water bottles, reams of paper, moves desks, computers, etc. for women whilst they stand back and watch as if you are a servant. They get paid the same and will have better promotion prospects due to discrimination and gender quotas that make it mandatory for companies to hire a certain percentage of women in a team or department, regardless of their experience, talent, skill, or performance. It's like a free ticket for women. The whole talk about equality seems like it's only meant for women to receive selective equality. You see, women want equality, but they want to put in the work behind it. For example, you still won't see any women lining up to be part of the construction industry. They're going to talk about equality so that they can only become CEOs and board members of organizations in the construction industry. They're going to talk about being in the armed forces but only as heads of organizations in the defense industry. They're going to talk about equality in the government, but only want to be the leaders of government organizations. It seems equality for women is about taking control and taking over positions held by men who have dedicated their lives and climbed the ladder by sacrificing their everything just in an ultra-competitive world. Modern feminine women are also promoting a dangerous narrative which is that they believe they can function in societies without any men in those societies. This is a dangerous narrative because it will misinform young women about how they can do that without ever having to work for it. Will these women work in the sewers? Will they work in the mining industry? Will they literally work in deplorable conditions that men work in just so they can feed their wives and children? Or is just the CEO that modern women want to emulate and look at? Why the hypocrisy? Why selective equality? Truth be told, this isn't equality. It's gender politics for domination while using whole generations of innocent women as pawns. The fact is, 
Women are extremely interested in men's financial future when it comes to long-term partnerships or having children. You must thus take her personal history very seriously. Women don't pay any attention to your difficulties. At the finish line, they wait and choose the winners. That's the reality that many men seldom seem to know. It's a give and takes in any relationship, and women make sure they know they are with someone who can provide for them. Similarly, men need to know what her past was like, how many men she dated, did she cheat, or is she divorced, or how many guys was she in a physical relationship with. Men need to know this so that they know if the woman they're going to invest their time, energy, and resources in is loyal, and will stay with him. And if the woman turns out to be some adult actress whom anyone in the world can see naked on their screens right now, do you really think men are going to trust them? Therefore, if it's a short-term relationship, men shouldn't worry about a woman's background because it doesn't really matter. Nothing that may be significant is meant to come of this, as far as you know. If it's a one-night stand with benefits, then who cares? An adult star would be the perfect partner for such an arrangement because of their experience. However, it is crucial to understand her background if you plan to date her long-term or, more precisely, if you're seeking a girlfriend or someone to start a family with. In reality, she is quite interested in your abilities to care for and defend yourself as a man and as a strong male role model in a family since she is going to spend her life with you and raise children. Throughout their lives, men are supposed to do everything for women and literally dedicate their lives to providing for, protecting, and helping women. And you know what? Men do that with a lot of joy and it brings them a lot of satisfaction when they know they're being the providers. It gives them a solid purpose because they know they're doing justice to what the universe meant for them to do. They do it proudly because that's in their nature. I'm talking about high-value men, not a simp who starts crying if he gets rejected by a girl. But the question is, why do women expect everything from a man, especially when all they can do now is talk about equality and how men have oppressed and controlled them? It's quite true that modern women have become too entitled. I hope that women realize that hypocrisy with which they live, expecting everything to be taken care of on one hand, and then marching the streets with banners for equality on the other. One thing is for sure though, manipulation is the primary tool that modern women have and use against men. They've been used to it since their teenage years and will continue to use it till their last breath. They will try to use your emotions against you in order to fulfill their own wishes because as we all know, they feel entitled. But I guess that's what feminism is basically promoting. It's promoting this narrative to young women around the world that they can be anything. And it doesn't matter if they do the hard work that needs to be done for it or not. I'm not saying that it's wrong to promote confidence and encourage women to pursue their dreams. But it is wrong to promote that they can have it all without putting in equal effort. The biggest loser in this is the organization that makes a woman the CEO just because it's the socially accepted thing to do. The organization loses because now it has someone who doesn't have the right experience running the show. And to add to that, women still expect men to help them all the time. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.